Alright, notice here how when he winds, both arms are super long. He's level, there's no tension whatsoever in the arms. Now as he unwinds, to begin the throw, same thing. Long, long arms. He's turning actively with his left foot. No tension in the upper body. Here goes his left foot. And let's take a look at this. His right foot is just coming off the ground. Okay, He's level across his shoulders. The left heel is turning hard. Okay. Notice now with the disc, you can see in that top photo, the disc is a little low. It's just a little bit below his shoulders. I'm going to see how that changes as he runs the ring. He's in great shape now. He's in that South African position that we use so much, right? Shoulders are level. His hip is tipping toward the direction of the throw. His left toes are pointing in the direction of the throw. He's going to use his right leg actively now. Toes out. And then he's pulling it in. When he pulls that leg in, notice his heel is under his knee. The heel of his right foot is under his knee. He brings it in. He's turning it hard. On touchdown, the foot has turned quite a bit. Hang on, let me get this one caught up. Right there. Now notice also that the disc is coming up high as he reaches the power position. You see that? That's the high point of the disc. It's higher than it was when he was coming out of the back. Now he's going to keep his weight back on his right foot. He's going to turn. He's going to push the knee in the top uh, video. He's going to push that knee toward us. See that? He's pushing it out, his knee and hip toward us. His weight is back. Still his weight is back, back. And he's going to chase it out now over the ring. Look how everything else stops. His whole body now is solid. All his force is coming out through his fingers. He's chasing out it out over the top of the ring. His eyes, you can see in the bottom photo, are right on his fingers. Goodbye, discus.